Juicy Smolier 2.0 just happened in San Diego. I don't know if you guys heard about this. No, I haven't. Media probably tried to bury it after the truth came out. San Diego man Scott Rowan received a lot of media attention when he got set on fire. And he told the news that it was a hate-fueled attack by two men yelling homophobic slurs. Wah. Yeah, look, man, getting set on fire is no joke. I've, I've been set on fire, and it oh, sucked. Yeah. As it turns out, the person that sent him on fire was a pregnant woman that he ruthlessly beat and put in the hospital. Wow. The accelerant and the fire were used in self-defense to save her life. Wow. Oopsies. <laughs> See what happens when you wait for all the facts to come out before you jump to conclusions? Yep. And as a result, <clears throat> Rowan was arrested for assault. But this is San Diego, so we all know what's going to happen there. He's going to get led into the revolving door, not the one that goes into your ex's bedroom, but the one that ejects him right back onto the streets Absolutely to assault correct. more pregnant yeah. women, <clears throat> which is what George Floyd would still be doing today if he wasn't stone cold sober. <laughs> if you know what I mean. How many? How long has he been sober now? Like two uh, about uh, a little over two years now. Yeah. Actually, no, three years. Twenty twenty. Oh. Yeah, May of twenty twenty. So well, it's... over three years oh, sober. Yeah, yeah. Now. yeah. Good, good job, George Floyd. I mean, you keep off of those drugs because crack is whack. <laughs> <laughs> Just say no. <laughs> Just say no. Uh, and then on the flip side of the occasion, you have people who ha- who believe this, you know, ma- marginalization horseshit so completely that even when they're the ones who call the cops, they're crying to the police because they don't want the armed black man who threatened to stab his family arrested. Wow! This has to be seen to be believed. White guy sobs for getting a black man arrested. The black man was threatening to stab his family to death. He was arrested and charged with simple assault and terroristic threats. Following his arrest, he was transported to the DeKalb County Jail. Let's go to the squad car, please. Why is it happening? I'm being arrested? Yes. Yes. A little bit. For what? Uh Uh-huh. For what? I'll be with you in just one second. Are you, are you arresting him? I just wanted him to leave us but alone. He, um, I will need for you to fill out a statement for him. I don't want him arrested. I just want him to leave us alone. No, but he had a weapon on him and it was terrorist threats. Brandishing is not a crime with a knife. Brandishing is only a crime with a gun. What a moron! Terrorist threats, though, sir. Because he said die to me? Yes. And had his knife out. What? what? All that was done. Are you out of your mind? The threats, everything. And now he's crying. Do you know how... Get, they're going to think I'm racist. Ah. Do you know, you know how quick you could die by, get, by a guy with a knife? Now he's going to sit... I think I'm doing this because I'm white and he's black. Oh, my God. He's and I'm not. All right. All white right. guilt has been weaponized so successfully that even when you are the victim of a crime, you feel like you can't call the cops. Yeah, this I, is pathetic. Yeah, give me a minute. I'm going to turn on the AC. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting a little hot in here for Bobby. Are you going to turn on the AC? I, I, this just blew my mind. I, I'm Wow. How pathetic do you have to be? Seriously. You're the victim of a crime. You call the police. You do exactly what you're supposed to do. They come. They do their job. Nobody's getting hurt. Somebody's just getting arrested, and rightfully so. Yeah. And I didn't think I'm white, dude, because he's black. And, you know, like, dude, <clears throat> come on. Lay off the soy. Yeah. Wow. Ugh. Push the almost beef away. <laughs> Stop drinking the soy milk. Uh you know, get your stuff in glass bottles, not plastic, mm-hmm. and don't cook on nonstick surfaces. Yes. I'm just going to ask you, bro, when's the last time you had a beer and a steak? And on top of that, when's the last time you had sex with a woman where you were on top <laughs> and not face down with her balls deep in your business? <laughs> oh, my God. Because it seems to me like we have a serious <coughs> problem here, and you may have been trusting the soyance a little too much. The soyance. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Holy smoke and Joe Frazier. Uh, but you know how leftoids are. They're like, yay, diversity and inclusion. Here we go. Yeah, Here we no. go. Oh, yay. D-E-I-O. Yeah. And now I'm going to die. <laughs> nice. 
Well done, leftoids. Well done. Oh, well, that must have hurt, though. It probably did. Uh, I, listen, I've done that myself. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure we all have at one time. Or uh, uh, you know, in, in the Fort Benning, the dirty name. It's a, one, a name of a, a really effed up obstacle on the, uh, you know, on the obstacle course. Oh yeah! Holy crap! <laughs> I got crushed on that one badly. And then there's uh, this one too. Oh because, no! What do you, you know, think? What do you think is going to happen here? Well, I think it's going to be a very good representation of this last guy here crying about getting the black dude arrested. Uh -huh. It would explain a great many things. <laughs> oh! He's, he's, he needs to go to the hospital, bro. I'm pretty sure his balls are somewhere in the middle of his large and small intestine. Something's going to need stitches. <laughs> <laughs> he Listen, took that one right in the butt, China. Is it over? That's, that's it. Well, there's more. You want to see the yeah, rest? I want to see, I want to see him really Let's flounder. just see him writhe in pain for a while. Yeah. He's just rolling around. Oh. I don't know why he thought that was a good idea. Why was that the stance for this particular right. mechanic job? <laughs> you gotta go to the hospital, bro. I'm pretty. That could probably rupture a testicle. Yes. With, with the force that those springs let go. Yeah. Oh, you could easily rupture a testicle. Uh, a, I bet you he never does that again. <laughs> <laughs> Some mistakes you only need to make once, kind of like marriage. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I hope the guy's okay. Shit. I really do. <laughs> oh, I hope he's okay, too. But uh, it's a Darwin Award in making, right? It, there. That, that <laughs> truly is a Darwin Award. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.